remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. A bill seeking to amend the NDDC Act to allow for the inclusion of a number of states as a member state was recently presented before the Senate and House of Representatives. While the bill made it to second reading in the House of Representatives, it was however thrown out at the Senate. In their reaction to this development, some Niger Deltans described the bill as unjust and an aberration to the NDDC Act. They argued that Anambra State does not fall within the Niger Delta geographical area. Anambra joined the League of Oil Producing States in 2021 and got a nod from the then President Muhammadu Buhari to be included in the 13% oil derivation fund from the federal government. Representatives of the state are now pushing for it to be included among states under the purview of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Recently, a bill seeking to amend the NDDC Act was brought before the Senate by the Senator representing Anambra North, Tony Nguye. In his presentation of the bill, Senator Nguye argued that a state now contributes to Nigeria's oil revenue. Hence, it should be part of the NDDC coverage area. In a bid to douse rising tensions at the plenary, Senate President Goswil Akwabio asked distinguished senators to revert to the act setting up the NDDC as well as allow the National Boundary Commission decide whether Anambra falls within the Niger Delta geographical zone. I think we will need a more holistic approach to the law. Senator Akpabio then called for a voice vote on whether the bill should pass for a second reading. Those again say nay. The next half. It. it will be recalled that in 2023, leader of the Pan Niger Delta Forum, Chief Edwin Clark, had called for the exclusion of Abia, Imo, and Ondo states from NDDC coverage. Aligning with Chief Edwin Clark, a Niger Delta youth activist, Dr. Teofilos Alaye wonders why states under the Southeast Geopolitical Zone should be left to be developed by the NDDC when the Southeast Development Commission is in the offing. If the Eastern Development Commission scaled through and uh, got the presidential assent, is Abia and Imo State now going to be in two commissions to be benefiting? Dr. Theophilus and King Swan Baridam said it is rather too hasty to demand the inclusion of Anambra State as an NDDC state on the basis that it contributes less than 1% to the nation's oil revenue. They should allow those who have been, um, are suffer have been suffering from uh, the, the, the impact of the oil to enjoy it first. Their 13% derivation is not going to the NDDC. In his own comments on the matter, Comrade Amos Ogboko, immediate past president, Isoko Youth Assembly, noted that amending the NDDC Act at this point in time will not be in the best interest of the Niger Delta region, considering that the agency is struggling to stabilize and meet its obligation to the nine states currently under its purview. Now that we now have a board in place, I seriously think that whoever that is not in such idea of, you know, amending the act, which is going to probably cause some delay as far as the development of Niger Delta is concerned, you will know. You should bury it and key such idea. Inside the Niger Delta, 